What a week it has been for Galaxy of Heroes news. We've got Night Troopers, we got Galactic Legend Ahsoka, we got a brand new raid, which by the way, my guild thought it was a great idea to start a new raid, um, for the Endor raid uh, last night, so that was wonderful. But anyways, um, <laughs> the road ahead is here. I have not read it yet. I am literally sitting down, it just came out. I'm going to be recording my reaction. We're gonna break this down together. I'm excited to see where this goes. We know we've been waiting for a road ahead for a few weeks now, and it's finally here. We didn't have to beg them this time to drop it, uh, unlike last time around. So let's get into it, why don't we? But first, before you got before we do that, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with more content just like this, and you want to see me suffer more often in your feed, because I seem to do that a lot on this channel, and let's get into it. All right, so Hollow Table Hills, welcome to this July 2024 Road Ahead. Today we'll be giving you insight into the release of the Imperial Remnant. The mysterious characters known as the Great Mothers. Okay. And a new Ezra, the next. I called it. I called it. The next Conqueror. I knew it. I knew it. The next Conquest character. I literally called it. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling up the receipts. I called it. I called it. I called it. Uh, just to completely flex on you guys. Just to completely flex on you guys. Uh, where is it? Uh, Hermit Ezra Conquest Lifter. There we go. A new Ezra Qu as a Conquest Carrier. That's awesome. All right. Subject to change. Without further ado, let's see what we got going on. So the Imperial Remnant. After they were defeated on Endor, the Empire was fractured and scattered through the universe and began creating factions, one notably known as the Imperial Remnant. We are excited to bring to you this cast of, un uh, I don't even know what that word is, characters of the Galaxy of Heroes, a brief overview of the character, of each character, as well as a sneak peek into their capabilities and tender roles within a squad. The more will be coming as we continue. Excuse me. Excuse me. As we continue to develop these units. Sorry, I just ate lunch, so I'm like still like processing it. So let's let's see what's going on. Build a thematic team with the fallen empire, while making sure to distinctly separate these characters from the empire faction. Through design, their strengths will uh, live in it. Captain Enoch's undead. Okay, so Captain Enoch is confirmed. I, I kind of see him. A little, I'm kind of skipping ahead of her. Night Trooper, Death Trooper, and Captain Enoch. There we go. Captain Enoch confirmed. Kind of surprised that that wasn't the leak and said that Night Trooper was the leak, but you know what? This is cool. The excitement of Disney Plus series is so good. Happy announced that Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano's coming. Yep, we know. Uh, you're probably wondering what characters or which characters need to unlock her. We've got you covered for a few of them, and it starts with the Imperial Remnant Squad. More for required characters will be announced periodically until she arrives in game. So it sounds like we're going to have periodic uh, marquees. We're going to need a lot of marquees to lead up. So I, in my speculation, was talking about how we were probably going to stick to like four because that's what we got for like Leia and Jabba, I believe. But kind of makes it sound like there's going to be way more than four re uh, marquees required for her, which is interesting. But obviously we did the Night Trooper kit reveal most recently. Uh, Attack to spreads blight among, among their foes. Also in a case of if you can do it, I can do it in their kit. Okay. And then Death Trooper Peridia. Yeah, this makes sense. A new Death Trooper. Loves Blight and interacting with Blight. Can be also used in an Isis squad and Captain Enoch. Leader of the Imperial Remnant squad equipped with a ruthless with a ruthless nature. Decay. That is really cool. So they're creating two Imperial Remnant squads. Kind of how we have Iden and Veers as the Imperial Trooper leads. Now we have Dark Trooper Moff Gideon and Captain Enoch for Imperial Remnants. That's pretty cool. So here's the work in progress. With all the exciting releases coming, we want to give you a sneak peek of the work in progress. Images of Night Trooper and Death Trooper and the art team is currently working on. Since these are work in progress pictures, the details of the final, final character might have changed. Yeah. Oh my god, the Death Trooper looks so cool. They ate with these, bro. They were cooking. They were cooking when they made this. Oh my god. That is so cool. I'm sorry. The Great Mother's Squad? They're making a squad for this. The Great Mothers are a mysterious and powerful group introduced into the Disney Plus series Ahsoka. They have a connection to the Night Sisters of Dathomir, known for their dark magic. Their names are Ant oh, I'm not even. I'm literally not even going to try to pronounce those. Um, their shrouded past and enigmatic prowess make the Great Mothers a fascinating addition to Galaxy of Heroes. Interesting. A small word from the design team and the new Night Sisters team. A new Night Sisters team. That's pretty cool. And Morgan Elizabeth, of course. That makes sense. And um, and to round out the team, Talia, Night Sister Spirit, and Acolyte. That that makes sense. These guys have been floating around, not really doing too much for a while. So that makes sense. Other options, Night Trooper, Death Trooper. Yeah, okay. Cool. Anyways, I want to read this. Um, first off, we don't intend to break up the current Night Sister team. So that's like Mother Tales and Daka, Zombie, Marin, and Ventress, I think. I think that's the team. Uh, with the introduction of these new awesome characters, we want to make sure we preserve that original team, but give this new squad its own unique identity. Though we won't be surprised if you folks find a new team 
uh, uh, find a new team out of all these characters. While we are still investigating some of the mechanics and balance of these characters, we want you, the player, to make choices with this team. It's up to you to decide. It's, so that's cool that they're not just kind of setting us in a squad. Like, we're not locked in. We're not boxed, like, uh, stuck with this squad having so much synergy with each other. The power level we are shooting for this team will be around, around the strength of the Gungans with their own set of strength and weaknesses, of course. We're very excited to see the Nine Sisters team come to Galaxy of Heroes. So I wonder if that means it will be a defensive team. But they want this to be like the Gungans. So they want this to be crazy. The Great Mothers go crazy. Okay. Great Mothers bring Fate Weaving and the two effects, Bless and Doom, to the table. A lot of new effects we're getting this week uh, via their leader ability. The le abilities also boost the effects of the existing Night Sister Acolyte and Night Sister Spirit, making them good choices for the squad. Great Mothers will also be using the second large unit. Will also be the second large unit introducing Galaxy of Heroes. So is this one character? They're saying the Great Mothers is one character. Oh yeah, okay, so they're saying the Great Mothers is one character. The Great Mothers is like gonna be like Jala, where they kind of function together, sitting at the back of the squad. And then you're gonna have Morgan Elspeth, Talia, Nice Sister Spirit, and Acolyte. So that's cool. So, and Morgan Elspeth here uh, is gonna be the tank of the team. That's interesting. I would have thought that she would have been support or the attacker, not the tank, but that's interesting. I guess if you this is what they're going for, they need a tank, right? So, eh, I guess that makes sense. There's some extra options. And again, Ezra, yes, I called Ezra, I called it. Uh, the design lead for the new Conquest unit, Ezra wanted to stop by and provide a few words on what they're working on. Ezra designers here, well, we're, we're still fairly early on the design process for this new Conquest character. We want to give you all a sneak peek about what we're cooking up. For this version of Ezra, we really want to capture the growth and learnings of who Ezra has become during his time in exile in Peridia. And to that end, this Ezra will, in exile, so is that what he's called, Ezra in exile? will be a support character that turns his enemy strikes against him. So that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Can't wait for Ezra to make his way to Galaxy of Heroes. Looking forward to sharing with you more details about him. I wonder if he's going to be Phoenix. I wonder if he's going to have Phoenix tag, because that's going to be crazy. If you have Krex with a Conquest Ezra, that would be crazy. And then uh, the BC, uh, the PC update. Uh, it's been out for a little over three weeks now. We couldn't be happier with the positive feedback you provide us. Um, so they're still working on it. And we decided to open up the closed beta to everyone who signed up to this point in early July. Let's go! We were still working on a few back-end issues that we've noticed, uh, trying to see if we can create and implement some of your suggestions we've heard before going to open beta. Okay, that's cool. Uh, always enjoyed the story. The characters, see more people. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Uh, with Ahsoka art all over my house, I've been anxious to waiting time. Ahsoka's time to be our next Galactic Legend. Her show gave us so many op characters that not only look visually striking, but also great notes for the, for the factions we want to expand on. Who can you re who can resist more night sisters? And also with that, that is the end of the road ahead. So a lot more Ahsoka content. More we're getting a new Imperial faction remnant, basic or er, squad, basically. Conquest Ezra, Galactic Legend Ahsoka, we've already known, and we're getting um, more night sisters. They cooked with this one. I will be honest, they went in on this, and I'm very excited about that. So interested to. It sounds like to me that the Great Mothers are going to be a legendary, like an event, because it sounds like. They want it to be like the Gungans. Is that just the squad, or are they making the the format of that kind of like the like Jar Jar? Because because it sounds like it's going. You're going after a character. That's what they makes it seem like. So I'm curious to see if that'll be a legendary. But they really cooked with this. I am excited to get these two. I I, I might have to get this. If I uh, dude, I'm in the middle of my Inquisitor farm right now. Oh my god, I need to get I need to finish my Inquisitors before I can do this. This sucks. I kind of want to go for Ahsoka as my. I'll, I'll share. I kind of wanted to go for Ahsoka as my next Galactic Legend, just like be like get something new. I really like everything I'm hearing about it. All the new uh, marquees sound really fun. I, I, passion project with the character and lore and all that stuff. I'd love to do it, but uh, the Inquisitors are gonna really trip me up here. I think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is. This this looks so cool, and I'm very excited for this. Let me know what you guys think about this road ahead in the comment section down below. If you are interested, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios, everybody. Thanks for watching.